Welcome to the grid computing tutorials. In our first tutorial, we would like to explain in a few minutes what grid computing is actually all about. This is Alice. Alice is a researcher and relies for her research heavily on her computer. Who is in these days? She is working together with researchers all over the world on different research projects. For each of these projects, they are using computers located at the research organizations. In grid computing, these collaboration groups are called virtual organizations, and they comprise people and computing resources. With this, we have already explained one of the core aspects of grid computing, the collaboration in virtual organizations. For her research, Alice needs special equipment and software which can all be included in the virtual organizations she is participating in. She even can use her mobile devices to use her applications running on the grid. This is the second important aspect of grid computing, the integration of different hardware and the shared use of resources. As Alice and her research partners are working with sensitive data and need to make sure that only they can access their shared infrastructure, they are using digital certificates, which are part of the grid security infrastructure, a security layer natively included in grid middlewares. Secure access through identity verification, encryption and authentication is a core component of grid computing. The steps comprising Alice's research require her to move data between different computing resources. Through the grid middleware and rights delegation, Alice's application workflows are running automatically on the grid infrastructure. Managing and running automatically distributed workflows is another feature supported by grid middlewares out of the box. Virtual organizations like research projects are designed to exist only for a certain time. As infrastructures, applications and workflows change, also grid infrastructures and virtual organizations change. With this, we have finished our introduction to grid computing through the four core essentials of this technology. Support for collaboration, shared use of heterogeneous infrastructure, secure access and sharing of data, applications and hardware, and the support for automatic management of distributed workflows. If this has raised your interest in grid computing, please also watch our other tutorials for more details on the practical use of grid technologies.